being homeless is not a crime. Being an addict probably should not be addressed by putting somebody in jail. We need to get those people some help. Over the last several months, Salt Lake City and Salt Lake County have been collaborating on a criminal justice initiative that we hope can address some of the pressing needs that we see in the Rio Grande today. This is something really unprecedented. This is a multi-agency collaborative effort and partnership between Salt Lake City and Salt Lake County, between both the executive level, between the mayor, as well as law enforcement, and of course, uh, with the, the district attorney's office and the city prosecutor's office. When we launched this, operation, we were really seeking out the criminals amongst the homeless population. With that, what happens is, I'll give you an example, is you'll have a drug deal happen. And when we go in to pick up the drug dealer, we're also picking up the person who has possession and bought the drugs. Two different paths, though. The drug dealer is going straight to jail and will be staying there, and there is no overcrowding release for that individual. Then the person who actually purchased the drugs to use them, that individual is coming into the receiving center, they are being assessed for treatment, health condition, and then we are offering them an opportunity to go and get the treatment they need to get off drugs and overcome their addiction. On the addictions treatment side, we typically have as long as six to nine month waiting lists. And many of the individuals in the Rio Grande area lack any insurance or ability to access services. So we brought forward a significant amount of one-time money, the county did, to be able to help these individuals get direct access to services. We met with many providers in a coordinated effort to try to figure out how we could get from an assessment right after arrest and after meeting with the district attorney directly into a treatment slot as quickly as possible. The treatment options will, we can, get, we can get 100 to 150 people into treatment and sustain that for six months. The need in the Rio Grande area far exceeds that amount. So really our lifeline is that some form of Medicaid expansion is approved by our state legislature and our federal government. In the last session, the state legislature approved uh, a, a very modest extension of Medicaid benefits that uh, is now awaiting a federal waiver in order to be fully implemented. We hope that comes through. That will, that will provide some of the funding to make the work that's been, been done today to help it to be ongoing. Uh, but we don't know when that'll come through. So short of that, um, you know, we're also, I would love to see the legislature fully expand Medicaid under Governor Hel Herbert's Healthy Utah Plan. That hasn't passed the legislature yet. Uh, so we're waiting for the, the modest extension of Medicaid benefits to receive federal approval. If that doesn't happen, then I've asked the legislature to take the money that they've set aside for that program and directly appropriate it to these services. We want to do this differently. We want success. We can't arrest our way out of this problem. We need to help people. And that's exactly what we are doing, collaborating so we can help people.